So this video is a bit of a summary of um, ionising radiation. So we're going to talk about alpha, beta and gamma radiation, their properties um, and then monitoring badges. So an alpha particle is made up of two protons and two neutrons. It's basically the same as a helium nucleus. We write it using the Greek letter uh, alpha and the four at the top refers to the mass and the two at the bottom refers to the proton number. Beta decay is um, a neutron decaying into a proton and a high-speed electron, which is uh, sent out of the nucleus. So the mass of a beta particle is zero and the proton number is minus one. Gamma radiation is basically part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which you should have learnt about before. In terms of properties, you need to know that alpha radiation is the most ionising and you need to know that gamma is the least ionising, with beta somewhere in the middle. If you can't remember about ionisation, there's a video uh, that I've made before that's got uh, a bit of a summary on ionisation. You also need to know that gamma is the most penetrating, which means it can go through the most uh, types of materials, basically, and it has the, the largest range. Whereas alpha is the least penetrating, it gets stopped and absorbed quite easily, um, even by skin and paper, and its range is very small. OK, so we're now going to look at um, the monitoring badge and these badges would be worn by people who work with ionising radiation to monitor their dose. So this is the front of the badge that I've just drawn and the three uh, rectangles represent the windows that would have different materials covering them. Um, and then the, the next rectangle is just imagining that the back of the badge has been pulled behind slightly. The back of the badge has got, actually got photographic film on it. Um, and photographic film is useful in this case because when it's exposed to uh, radiation, it goes darker. So we can see when the window has been exposed to uh, certain types of radiation. So I just draw these little dots on here to show where the windows would map to and it will make the explanation a little bit easier. So these windows at the front are covered by different things. We've got card, aluminium and lead. On the photographic film at the back, in a moment I'm going to annotate it so that you can see which radiations are detected on the films. And I'm also going to show you which radiations are absorbed by which of the windows. So starting with alpha particles, we know that these are the least penetrating, so they get absorbed by card, by aluminium and by lead, so don't get detected behind any of these windows. So moving on to beta, it's in the middle in terms of penetration properties, so it will go through card and be detected behind it, but it would be absorbed by both aluminium and lead and so won't be detected behind those windows. Finally, gamma radiation is the most penetrating. It goes straight through card and it will go straight through the aluminium and be detected behind those, but it will be absorbed by lead. So looking at the photographic film at the back, we can see which uh, radiations are detected by the badge. So behind card, we detect beta and gamma. Behind aluminium is just gamma. And then behind lead, there shouldn't be anything and this works as a control. So in the past, there have been questions uh, asking you to explain how the monitoring badges work. There have been questions asking you to identify which radiations would be detected behind uh, each window. It's a really common error that people make where they get it confused which ones get absorbed and which ones get detected. So you need to make sure that you are really clear what the question is asking you to do um, and uh, which uh, windows would absorb which radiations and therefore what would be detected behind each window.